Hi, uh, welcome to another edition of the 2B Honey and the 2B Honey Hive Hotel. This week we're doing our last harvest. This is the uh, late summer harvest. Um, we were going to do it last week, but it was so cold. It was in the 50s and I don't want to harvest honey when it's that cold. Right now it's in the 70s and you'll see that the bees are flying around and things look fantastic. This is going to be a good harvest. Good harvest for late summer. If you look around, you can see how the trees are all starting to change color. You can see how there's still some goldenrod down there and there are still some flowers for the bees to collect nectar. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our little bit of the late summer harvest. Uh, let's get started and we'll see how we do. Now, if you remember, actually, hold on. Now, if you remember, normally I don't wear gloves, but when I'm harvesting honey, then it's a good time to put gloves on because they will get a little defensive because they want to keep their honey. Well, I want to take half their honey for us. Okay, ready? Let's get started. We can see how the bees, look at that, look how well they're, oh my goodness, look over here at how well they're doing. I could smell it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the smell of the honey, so especially pungent. in the late summer. Mm. I'm doing a little bit of tapping here. This just helps them relax to settle down. Through. It's oh. so dark and rich, we actually use it instead of maple syrup. Drizzle okay. it on pancakes, in baked beans. All right, now we'll get started. I'm going to take the first one. So beautiful. Oh my goodness, this was so wow. heavy. It looks so heavy, it's so thick. Wow. You can see the honey in there. And you can see how all the honey coming in. And this is all from the Hive Hotel, where you can see all this going on. Okay? Beautiful. And you can see where normally a honey frame stops here. But with the Hive Hotel, if they want to, they can produce honey going all the way down. Okay? Which gives them more honey and gives us a little honeycomb. Yes. So now we're going to brush this <coughs> one off. Excuse here. me. <clears throat> I'll brush it off over here so you can see it. Okay, we're going to go. This one, see how that's going? I'm going to leave this one in there for them so they can continue to work on this one and they can continue to fill that up for them. Okay? Let's see what's next. Wow, that one looks heavy as can be. Yes. Look at this, huh? Wow. Can you see all that honey in there? See all that? On this side. Okay, now let's see this one. Oh, look at that, huh? Wow. Look at all that honey. Oh, let me see if I can get that glistening. It's so hard because it's so sunny out that everything's glistening today. Okay, can you see it like dripping down right in the middle? Um, See the drip Trying going down? It. See the drip? Yeah. Sun is right. Oh. oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I think I got it. Wow. That's a lot of honey right there. Oh, I feel it. like having a teaspoon of it right now. Okay. Gently, gently. Wow. Nice. All right. Yeah, we'll just 
do a couple more and then we're going to leave the rest for them. Okay, because okay. you have to leave enough for them in there. All right. This harvest is so good that I'm telling you, I can't wait. I have to have a little taste of the honey. Mm. So deep, so rich, look at that. And the wax, it's awfully sweet. This is wax I can swallow. I'm going to have the, do you want this honey? No, you can finish it. I'm eating the rest of it. I got my hands okay. sticky. I can't even move mm -hmm. <laughs> with the camera. Okay. Yummy? Mm-hmm. All right. With the Hive Hotel, we did a great job. They were very successful this uh, uh, year. Now we're, what we're going to look at are the uh, Langstroff Hives to see how well they do. All right, and if you remember, we're opening. We're going to do a little puff of smoke to calm them down. Nice and calm. There we go. And then after that, we'll take our hive tool, pry this up a little bit, pry this up a little bit. All right, now that calms the bees down as we open the top. Let's see how well the honey is doing here. Well, the top frames don't really look that full. Pull it up. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see it in there. Now, if you look, you'll see the honey coming in here in the middle. See the honey there? So that's what we have, okay? Well, there were just a couple frames on the top that had uh, capped honey in them. So what we're going to do is try and pull this up and now see what's underneath to see from here how the honey is. Okay? Lift this up. Do it over here. All right. Now we see a lot more capped honey. This is where we get a lot more. You can see where it's all full. Okay? So what we'll do, let's check one of these frames and see how it looks. Up. Here, there, we go. there you go. Look at that frame. Wow. Okay. There's a nice full frame of honey. So you'll see that the Langstroth frames, they are producing, we're getting good honey from these. Absolutely. But a lot of it is, is lifting and moving. So we're still getting good honey, and I'm glad that we got honey from both um, the Hive Hotel and the Langstroth Hive. Um, what we're going to look at after this is we're going to see after the harvest um, the different work that's done on the two different styles of hive. Okay, let me... Uh, finish harvesting this and then we'll see how we do. Okay?